Hey, brothers and sisters, I'm back in the studio. I thought I'd come back to you and give you a, as good of a full report as I know how to. Um, so just a brief recap. Uh, you know, I told you that um, my company and I decided we were going to take the truck and uh, donate a couple of pallets of water down to Newport, Tennessee. Um, that was a success. Uh, I got permission to go. I got the donations needed. We got everything set up. And at that point, I would like to add a critical component here that I failed to mention in my posts. Uh, at that point, I invited my good friend Greg Martin from Smokehouse Studios, the Front Port Show. A lot of you know him from... Uh, that is the show that I um, attend regularly and I'm, I'm a, a occasional co-host guest speaker on. Um, I would like to thank Greg Martin because without his help, uh, he is a, a fellow flat better that has many more years of experience than I do. Uh, I was highly concerned about getting this product down there safely at the distance that it is. Not so much because of what it is, but because of what it represented, uh, the importance of it in this specific situation. Um, we were able to do that effectively. We got down there to Newport. We told them that we would be willing to stick around a while and help out any way that we could. Uh, at that point, they dispatched us from Newport over to Hot Springs, North Carolina. Uh, at that time, once we got over there, they sent us to the local, I believe it was a middle school, uh, where they were taking donations. At that middle school, I met up with a couple of fellows that uh, had me go to another location because they didn't have a forklift on site. Uh, we got to a small little church where they actually had a full-size tractor with forks on the bucket. Uh, we got everything off the trailer. We stuck around and helped them downstack everything and, and load everything into the house, which I don't believe they were expecting. I think most people that are going by are, are donating and then leaving. Uh, not only did we want to donate, we intended to be there for a length of time to help. Uh, that was the whole goal, is to do everything that we could uh, to pitch in. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm still having coffee because um, my mind is just shot and I'm still tired from, from everything that's uh, taken place. Um, but from that point on, uh, we met the local fire chief. Um, we got to chatting with him, working with him, and uh, about that time, several other cars came up with donations. We downstacked those cars. Um, we got everything loaded up inside the little church, and I checked in with the fire chief to see if he had a location that he knew of, that a campsite that might be open, uh, a place that I could park the truck legally to stay overnight, somewhere the truck that where the truck would be safe because it was <clears throat> uh, technically a company and DOT vehicle. Uh, I wanted it to be protected, um, and at that point, he invited me and Greg. Uh, Greg followed down in his Jeep. I, I need to add first. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, Greg's Jeep is what I call the, the mobile command center um, because his Jeep is set up with ham radio. Uh, he can operate from anywhere. As long as he can pitch a wire in a tree, uh, he can run ham radio. It, it's amazing the things that he's able to do, and I'd like to do a video on that at some point. Um, in the near future. Uh, we failed to be able to do so in the field. Um, anyway, we were invited to the um, fire station where we set up base camp there. Uh, from that point, we helped to continue to uh, unload donations. <clears throat> there were full-size trucks, full-size trailers, uh, minivans, cars, people of, of all kinds came in to donate. Uh, at one point, we had a huge flatbed uh, that was not uh, that uh, had a enclosed trailer on it. That the trailer, the enclosed trailer, was not actually street legal. So they took and put. This is how dedicated these people are to helping. They took an enclosed trailer and put it onto the flatbed trailer and filled it full of products to get it to you, um, to these people. That is how dedicated these people are to helping. Uh, that is what we do as a nation. We pitch in for our own. That is why we're here. And as the body of Christ, it's our duty to do it the most. Um, from that time, they they stopped for a, a break. We stopped and ate. Uh, they invited us to eat with them. Uh, they tried to feed us constantly, and we tried not to uh, partake other than um, when they really pressed us, we did eat with them. It wasn't that we didn't want to, brothers and sisters. It's just the simple fact that these people need the resources. And when we came in, we came in fully prepared to sustain ourselves to help. Um, 
And I'm gonna get into that a little bit further later because that's a key ingredient that's a very important thing. If you're gonna go down there, self-sustain and know how to self-sustain. Uh, don't go down there and have these people have to babysit you while you're trying to help. Go down there knowing what you're doing with a set list and set products, knowing what you need to sustain, food, water, shelter, any of your medications. Don't be a problem, help to be a solution. From that point, we were down in town. We got to take a, a few videos and a few uh, pictures. Um, the devastation is immense. Um, and this is just one town in many. There are several out there. Um, we pitched in at a local hardware store that got flooded. Uh, the water was up to the, the, the height of the doors and there was mud caked in the floors up to 18 inches that they were trying to get out. Uh, so Greg and I pitched in for an hour or so of that evening helping with the uh, spraying off. They had hoses running from tanks or something. I'm not really sure what. I didn't get a chance to check, but we were helping spray off the mud and the muck from all this stuff. Now, the mud in certain areas is toxic, so you got to be very careful with what you're doing. There's chemicals mixed in. Um, there is uh, the local sewage mixed in in certain areas. I'm not saying all areas are this way, but be very careful and have the appropriate PPE, uh, which goes along with sustain yourself. As they closed down, we went back up to the fire station and there was a slew of cars come in again for another uh, unloading. So we continued to help unload through the evening. That night we were invited down to town where they had a local fire ring for people to get warm. Uh, from around eight o'clock at night to around midnight, we kind of just hung out with the locals, communed with them um, and people come in and out all of those hours communicating with us. There were locals that were stranded there were locals that were volunteers. Uh, there were local firefighter volunteers coming to help. There was local search and rescue. Um, at some point during the trip, I have pictures of it, ATF was actually in a pickup truck, just, just piled into the bed of the truck, going down there and rolling their sleeves up and helping uh, because other avenues of our government is not, we'll put it that way. Um, so all of the local areas were pitching in. It's it's big government that's not doing anything. Um, and that, that needs to stop. That's, that's insanity when we can add it to other areas and other, other places in the world, but we can't protect our own. That's insanity. Uh, but that is another subject we'll get into in another time. Um, a couple of things that you need to take notice of. Um, from all the donations, those need to keep going, but some of the things that I didn't see as much of was clothing, coats and blankets um, and even I would say some tents I don't know how much I don't know how important the tents are as, as opposed to blankets and clothing and coats um, but those are some things that I saw less donation of than some of the bulk items like waters and like foods and things of that nature um, there were pallets full of dog food and cat food um, there were baby formulas there were diapers that they pitched in a little bit of everything uh, but one major thing that I believe that I saw that they needed was clothing, um, clothing and, and blankets. Um, a couple of things I want you to know, if you're going to go down there, self-sustain. If you don't know how to self-sustain, Grindstone Ministries has a um, checklist of everything that you would need to self-deploy. Um, I would highly suggest that you study that list and understand it and know how to use it and pack accordingly because you don't want to go down there and be in the way. Alongside of going down there and being in the way, uh, they do need volunteers, um, but you need to be structured and, and um, tactical and methodical in the way that you do this. Uh, I don't mean tactical in a militant way, I just mean you need a plan. Um, you don't need to, if you have a four door pickup truck with a trailer, um, take it and pile in all the people that you can. Pack in the supplies in the truck bed and the trailer. Uh, don't take a little little car along with you and split the people up because they're they're small towns and they're they're they they're already small with small infrastructures. Half the roadways are gone or impassable at the moment, so they don't have a place to put several vehicles. So keep that in mind if you go. Keep in mind you need water, you need hyd hydration. That that's what you have to have to sustain yourself. Uh, a lot of times in situations like this, people will get out in that area and they will pitch in and they'll help and they'll, they'll have heart attacks in situations like that because they don't hydrate properly. 
um, they'll have health issues because they don't take care of themselves. Now, um, past that, understand that the, these areas are, there's muck, there's debris, there's danger areas. Um, a lot of what I saw was people coming in to film and gawk, um, and they weren't pitching in. If your hands and your feet aren't dirty and you're not muddy and you're not pitching in, you don't need to be filming. The cameras don't need to be rolling because you're in the way. Um, one of the final things that I would like to add to this is, is I did not see any seizure of product from big authorities. We'll call it that. Um, but what I did notice is, is they had volunteer security round the clock police officers running around the clock because there's a lot of looting, uh, a lot of theft. They are looting product. They are um, imitating officers. At one point, there was a group of people that came down claiming to be NYPD, uh, which were obviously imposters because they were coming in claiming that they were taking over the site. Uh, and all this is, is these are just disgusting, vile people that are trying to steal uh, these donations from these good citizens that really need it. Um, and I'd like to remind those people, if you're a, th a thief or a looter and you're down there to, to pillage and plunder, uh, there's a lot of debris everywhere and things go missing all the time. You can too. So I don't want that to sound horrific or anything like that, but um, go down there to help to be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Uh, these people need the generators. They need the food, the donations, the water, everything that they have, they need. You go work for your own. Well, brothers and sisters, um, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm sorry for the rambling. Um, if there's any questions or if I was unclear on anything, uh, please feel free to leave comments down in the, in the section there, and I will get back to you as I can. Um, I don't know yet if or when I'm going back. Um, the police, uh, the, excuse me, the fire chief and I do have a discussion coming up um, about if I'm needed again. Uh, and when I'll be needed again. Um, at that point, I will know more. Uh, but as of right now, I'm kind of just in the dark like you are. So thank you for all the support that you've given me and Greg in the local community while we were there. We greatly appreciate it, and we love the fact that you were there in heart and spirit backing us. Good evening, and God bless.